Welcome to another two minute lesson. Today's lesson is, what are volatile organic compounds in coatings? A volatile organic compound is any chemical that becomes a gas at room temperature and has the potential to react with the surrounding atmosphere. VOCs are dangerous to air quality because when they react with nitrogen oxide under UV radiation, ground level ozone is formed. Ground level ozone causes negative health effects such as reduced lung function, respiratory symptoms, and aggravation of lung diseases. In terms of environmental effects, ground level ozone can damage vegetation, decrease crop yields, reduce biodiversity, and decrease plant uptake of CO2. When preparing for a coatings project, Project managers need to be familiar with VOC regulations and the methods for control. VOC emissions from coatings can be controlled in several ways. The most common method widely employed by state agencies is limiting the amount of proportion of VOCs in coating formula. The second method for controlling VOC emissions is limiting the total quantity of VOCs admitted from a facility for a unit of time. If a facility emits more than 100 tons per year of one of the six major regulated pollutants, the facility will need to obtain a Title V permit from the state. This requires a manager at the facility to keep records of the solvents emitting VOCs used in the amounts of which the solvents were used. If you go over the VOC limit, you must pay fines to the EPA. The fee is calculated using the amount of VOC emissions that you're over the limit. The EPA's VOC reduction goals at the federal level have made strides in reducing air pollution and improving air quality. Since 1990, when the Clean Air Act amendments were enacted and put forth, ambitious programs reducing air pollution, the national average of ozone, eight-hour concentration has dropped from 0 0.088 parts per million to 0 0.068 parts per million, in line with the most recent national standard. Other states have followed California's example and have formed regional air quality groups that work to improve air quality for the region. Air quality issues don't abide by state lines, so doing your part to limit VOC emissions with your coating project will help improve and maintain air quality. This has been another two-minute lesson. Check back every Sunday for a new lesson.